Off-White Cinematic. This is Off-White Cinematic. Yo, you got to have it. Cinematic. Yo, this is Off-White Cinematic. Yo, you got to have it. Cinematic. Yo, this is Off-White Cinematic. Yo, you got to have it. Cinematic. Ha, this is Off-White Cinematic. Yo, you got to have it. Ha, I'm like a bulldozer when I'm charging. Cause I'm standing here living large when you're just feeling my presence right here in the state of the current events. I'm living in the now. I'm just speaking to the why and the how. The other questions, they can fall by the wayside. As I represent the Bayside, West Side, huh? Fresh Coast, Mr. O Double on the boast. In other words, I just got the booster. Cause I just crow like a rooster, huh? Porting my nose north, Mr. O Double just said it forth. Why not just bring it third to the fourth Q? As I'm just telling you, it's all about the way we stomp down the avenue. Huh, Simple Vader, or rather Hoover, or Figueroa. What you gonna do when I blow up? What? I'm just speaking like explosions. Every single time you're just imploding. Cause you're not knowing what direction to go in. Ha, huh, you're just trapped in the maze. While I'm freaking the haze, Mr. O. Just make you jump on the craze Rep the G4 From the Midwest to the seashore huh, It's a hot one today Yo, every single time I got to say I'm batting a thousand When I'm just rebel rousing Over public housing And the suburbs When I just speak these nouns and verbs Pronouns and proverbs Every single time I just Put it in the swirl Telling you and your girl as I speak my message around the world When I'm just doing it Dropping pins Getting those wins What's up everyone? Yours truly Off-White here Welcome to Off-White Cinematic Season 2 Episode 2 And today we will be talking about The USC Trojans Football Schedule So Let me go turn the music down get to it, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for it, for football, as always, let's fight on. Thanks again to everyone for joining us. Shoutouts to the off-white cinematic dancer, Ray Dawn. Follow her on Instagram at raydawn1300. If you would like to be featured dancing while I freestyle during my intro, please be 18 years or over and send me an email at ryan at menugem.com. And another reminder, we are still doing the off-white buy one get one free special. The way that works is if you purchase a release at any of these record stores, and send me the receipt at ryan at menugem.com, we'll send you a free off-white release of your choice. And the stores are Vintage Vinyl in St. Louis, Amoeba Music in Berkeley, California, and Amoeba Music in LA. The USC Trojans are in a position to regroup. The LA Memorial Coliseum has been upgraded with all new seating and Wi-Fi. They ripped out all the old bleachers and put in all new, bright cardinal seats. And the field has been newly renamed to United Airlines Field. JT Daniels, a sophomore, is our returning starting quarterback and is known for his precision. We also have a highly touted receiving core. The Trojans are coming in unranked. We are normally good at home, but we've lost our last three games at home. This brings us to the subject of last year. Last year, the Trojans went 5-7 and seven with no postseason. It was a terrible record, one that would cause us to not be eligible for a bowl game for the first time in a non-probation year since the year 2000. I can't remember a season this bad, and I've been following the team since 2005. Last year, a banner was flown over campus asking for head coach Clay Hilton's removal, but the athletic department quickly announced he was secure in his return. 
So let's talk about the schedule. It's an extremely hard schedule. You have Utah, Washington, Notre Dame, and Oregon already ranked in the top 15. And you have Stanford already ranked 25. We don't play Oregon every year, and we are playing them this year. There are two Friday night games. One is Friday, September 20th versus Utah, and the other is at Colorado, Friday, October 25th. So let's have a look at it. And let's have a look at what I think will happen. So as you can see, I'm predicting a 7-5 and five regular season. Last year, my picks, I had 7 correct and 5 incorrect. Uh, so the Trojans open their season at home against Fresno State Saturday, August 31st in the Coliseum. Uh, Fresno State is in the Mountain West Conference. They finished ranked 18 overall last year, and they've won their last four games in a row. Um, but nonetheless, I have us winning over Fresno State in the home opener, 35-31, to 31, breaking our three-game home game losing streak. The next week, uh, we host Stanford in the Coliseum, Saturday, September 7th, against Stanford. I have that one down as a loss. I'm going to keep putting L's in this game slot until the Trojans can prove otherwise. And then we had to Utah to play Brigham Young University, and BYU is an FBS independent, and that is Saturday, September 14th. Uh, that's a day game, and I have uh, that one down as a close game, but I do have the Trojans uh, pulling out the win. Then we host Utah in the Coliseum, Friday, September 20th. It's the first of two Friday games, and I have that one down as a loss. Uh, Saturday, September 28th, uh, the Trojans travel to Seattle to play Washington, and I have that one down as a loss. And then the Trojans have a bye week. On Saturday, October 12th, the Trojans will come to around this neck of the woods to play Notre Dame in South Bend, and I have that one down as a, a pretty bad loss. Uh, then the Trojans host Arizona in the Coliseum, Saturday, October 19th. I have that one down as a win. Then the Trojans travel to Colorado for the second of two Friday games on the schedule. So this one is Friday, October 25th in Boulder. I have that one down as a win. Then we play Oregon in the Coliseum. That's Saturday, November 2nd, and I have that one down as a pretty heavy loss. Uh, we play Arizona State. In Tempe, Saturday, November 9th, I have that one down as a win. They beat us last year, but I have that one down as a win. And then we head to Cal, and we play Cal uh, Saturday, November 16th. I have that game as a win, 30-20. to 20. I'm going to keep calling this game 30-20 to 20 Trojans for the foreseeable future because that's, that, that's what happens in that game. That's just what happens. Um... And then the final game of the year, we have the, uh, for the regular season, we have the Crosstown Rivalry, and that would be a UCLA Saturday, November 23rd in the Coliseum. I have that one down as a win, avenging our loss from the Crosstown Rivalry last year. So that is my uh, idea of how the, the schedule will go, and if we, if, if we do perform as such, uh, we could possibly get a bowl game and get back into the postseason. And to close out today's episode, I'd like to read from Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities. The summer light struck into the corner brilliantly in the earlier part of the day. But when the streets grew hot, the corner was in shadow, though not in shadow so remote, but that you could see beyond it into a glare of brightness. It was a cool spot, stead, but cheerful, a wonderful place for echoes, and a very harbor from the raging streets. 